しいな私もう悪い子じゃないはずなのに She really did change because of Yuji. That's gotta be it. I was thinking that in the last session. Not sure if I ever brought it up, but. And I, I'm pretty sure he asked himself that as well. But, yeah, I mean, it's gotta be Yuji that made her change. She loved him so much, and apparently she thought of herself as a bad girl, so she had to be a good girl, and to be a good girl, basically a perfectionist. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly what I theorized. The more I think, the more sluggish I feel. It's as though a heavy weight is pressing down on my body. Thank goodness I'm alone. If someone else had been here, I'm not sure I could have been my normal self for them. After all, I'm currently incapable of something as simple as reaching over to turn on the lights. Soon enough, my physical discomfort is accompany accompanied by a building sense of panic, inexpressible in words. A horrible choking sensation crawls slowly but steadily up my throat. <laughs> what the hell? As I moan incoherently, my, f my hands reflexively clutch at the blanket draped over my body. I squeeze my eyes tightly closed in an attempt to shut out reality. <laughs> Why do we keep seeing this, though? It's no good. The harder I try to repress the memory, the more clear clearly it rises to the surface. I know that it's the cause of my pain, as I get a fucking text, but I simply can't escape that image. <laughs> what image, though? Of, like, what we just witnessed? Like, like, literally in the last episode, or last session? Perhaps it's because I'm weaker than usual after my long wait in the rain. Even if, even as I wince at the first throbbing stabs of a sudden headache, an overwhelming weariness washes over my body. Just keeping my eyes open seems unbearably burdensome. <laughs> my field of vision grows narrower as my eyelids fall halfway closed. I can faintly hear the sound of my clenched teeth rattling in my mouth. It feels as if the temperature of the room has plunged to the point that I can almost expect my breath to form white clouds before my eyes. Dude, what is going on? I roughly gasp for air, panting like a dog, helplessly enduring the unceasing waves of pain. Okay, she's literally dying. Like, why is there not a heart monitor next to her? Eventually, it becomes difficult to tell whether my eyes are open or shut. And as my physical agony reaches its climax, it's joined by an unfathomable, uh, god damn it, profound sense of loss. My trembling hands creep upward, seeking reassurance that my head isn't simply been lopped off at the neck. <laughs> it's all right. That couldn't possibly have happened. I understand that rationally, but the delusion—it's so vivid that I can't bring myself to lower my hands. Post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD. As a child, when I first suffered these symptoms, the doctor who examined me dispassionately offered that diagnosis. A severe mental illness brought on by violent words or wounds to the mind, leading to a persistent range of stress-related impediments. I've researched the disorder and its symptoms in great detail over the years from every source I could find. Among the many symptoms, the one I truly fear is clinically referred to as recurrent involuntary memory, more commonly known as the flashback. <laughs> so she's not flashing back to what just happened with Yuji in the playground, she's flashing back to a memory. And it's related to her PTSD, which we're also now finding out about. If I curl my body into a tight ball like this, I can endure the pain and exhaustion somehow. But the worst of the suffering is yet to come. Damn, dude, I'm feeling bad. As I begin to imagine that moment, tears flood out of my eyes, and I shake my head from side to side like a spoiled child throwing a temper tantrum. <laughs> Lukewarm drool dribbles out of my gaping mouth as I'm racked by dry heaves. At some point, my groins give way to convulsive sobs. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
I could ne if I ever saw a person like this, like in the in in the real world, in front of me, going through stuff like this, dude. I don't know how I, I'd probably just explode on the spot. Like I honestly do not know how I would be able to react to all of this. This is just insanity. I know that people can deal with stuff like this and or or are dealing with stuff like this, and it's it's nerve wracking to even think about how they could i mean this is insanity this is how it always happens after enduring the pain i see the dream the memories i've tried so very hard to forget force their way into my mind still vivid and clear after all this time the profound darkness buried deep inside my own conscious efforts pushes its way back to the surface how many times have i seen this dream since that day the mere idea of trying to count seems rather ridiculous by now I'll never escape this nightmare, will I? Never. It'll be with me for all eternity. And the nightmare begins as always with two words. <laughs> what? Oh shit, now we're going back in time. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> this is different. This is, uh... Alright, well... I guess I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy this. It's like the entire, um... It's like all of this is dialogue now. Like, the entire screen is. Or something. Okay, I'm really confused. Who the hell are these pe- Nah, you can obviously tell it's Saji's parents. Alright. I mean, it even says the titles of the names right there, dude. <coughs> Jesus Christ, Dad! You are a good-looking man, dude. I just realized you are. Um, I like your eyes, really. And uh, it, for some reason, I get a sense of comfort whenever I see your hair. <laughs> the workshop was constantly filled with the clamor of industrial machines, but when I shouted out a greeting, my parents never failed to put down their work and answer. My gentle mother, who always smelled like freshly dried laundry, and my smiling father, whose face was constantly smeared with grease and oil. Man, he doesn't even look like he would work in some industrial area, man. This this guy looks like he would uh, be a lot more successful. Well, I mean, I guess in, in industrial machines, I guess you could be pretty successful. But you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't seem like you'd work in something like this. I love them both very much. My earliest memories from the days before I entered elementary school are all wonderfully happy. My dad was a metal worker and engineer from Niigata, and my mom was born into a family that operated a small precision manufacturing workshop in Kanagawa. Good enough. About 20 years ago, they met at a technology fair and fell in love. Soon enough, they started up a little factory of their own on the outskirts of this small city. I was born shortly thereafter, completing an intimate little family of three. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Dad, why do you seem so angry, man? Like, come on, like, I'm sorry. Wait, is this when we were a baby? Dad, you... You're not angry at me. You're, you're concerned about me, Dad. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> it's always Dad, dude. Ugh. I don't know why the screen flickers like that. The orders placed at that freshly established workshop tended to be small in scale, and its track rec record couldn't have been called excellent even as polite flattery. The primary cause, my parents prioritized their newborn child above all else, frequently missing important deadlines for my sake. But despite their inconsistent job performance, their character won respect and affection. Our young family was able to get by thanks to the support of others. Um... Okay. Ah, 
Damn, Dad, you're you're gonna stay here and do all this work so Mom and I can go and eat? Oh my God! It's always Dad, dude. Fuck, Sachi's got the best dad. Fucking Dad, dude. Oh my God, we even know Dad's favorite beer. Cause dad's just the best. <laughs> he even says thanks. We're gonna go get dad's favorite beer right now. Even once I got a little bigger, I still spent lots of time with my parents. Especially in the evenings, I'd always pull at my mom's hand and beg her to go shopping with me. <laughs> The fuck is sukiyaki? Shark. Shark. She likes sharks. Remember back when uh, when she was gonna make us that shark thing or whatever, that shark pouch? Yeah, that was almost bad. Oh, hell yeah, you can. I understand, you know, it's up to Sachi what she wants to eat for tonight, but I mean, come on, like, just go with what, you know, mom recommend, like, already recommended and everything. It's not that she's recommending it, it's that. That's really all they can afford. ごめんね、サチ。どうしてお母さんが謝るの? <laughs> But I don't understand is why is it doing this like weird dialogue thing where it takes up the entire screen? Like I guess, yeah, I gotta do something different for the pass and everything. But like the icons over here seem different. Hopefully, I can still save the game regularly. Get out of here, old lady! I'm talking with my mama. <laughs> Thinking back on it now, our household was definitely on the poor side. You could count on one hand the number of times per year a real treat of a meal graced our dinner table. But mom's cooking was always delicious anyway, and more importantly, I love the feeling of her soft warm hand wrapping around mine. Fortunately, the adults around us watched over our family with warm gazes and small acts of kindness. Yeah, Damn, thanks shopkeep. Yeah, yeah. Damn, dude. We don't have shopkeeps like like this shopkeep in our area. Not in the West. Or are, are we in the West? Is the U.S. in the West? Eh, whatever. Thanks, shopkeep. You're the best. Damn, shopkeep. You really are the best. Holy damn, dude. The people in this neighborhood are the best. I'm home, Dad. Ah, Omae mo, Oh, 